All right, this guy is just ridiculously creepy. And he's probably like worth a fortune. I mean, he's priced at 20 bucks. Somebody knows something that I don't. in the afternoon 100 degrees and I'm heading to Goodwill because <laughs> I mean that's what you do when you do this for a living right you go when you can find the time to go I would normally go later in the day when it's cooling off a little bit but my doggies have an appointment to get their little nails trimmed at 4:30. so I gotta go I gotta shop and I gotta get back and uh, so let's go The bat. I see one of these guys, and these actually sell really well. Unfortunately, they're asking 25 for it, so that doesn't leave anything for me, but be on the lookout for those. But as I'm down here, this looks like it's Avon, old Avon, an old Avon President's Club luncheon piece, 1980. 1980, little Avon bunnies. Sadly, I don't think these have a whole lot of resale value. And they are a little on the pricey side at $6.95. That one's a little, that one's a little bookend. This one is Collector's Corner. I'm not sure what that one was for. What did this one say? My first call. So see, these were all like Avon Lady pieces that because they give out you know different yeah. awards and um, they're cute but I can't pay $6.99 for them. I spot this little coca it's coca pelli right? Coca I always mix up the coca pelli and the yay and the all the different character the kachina. I think this is a coca pelli. Correct me if I'm wrong. He's only 99 cents. It's a good little resale piece. I think I spot, oh, he's really heavy. I think I spot a frog back here I need to look at. Oh, it's pretty chipped up. Actually, he's pretty broken. I got a little elephant. HMK, I think that's Hallmark, right? He doesn't have a price, but he's nothing really super special. So, let's keep looking. This is an elephant bank by multiple choice cannot read all of that. Oof. It's very tiny writing. Oh, and you got some cute bunnies, but just not feeling the bunnies. Let's see what else is up here. Mm, this is interesting. I'm not sure what you would put in that, but it's a little beat up. So we're gonna pass on that. Oh, and there's a lid. <laughs> Just a single little apple lid. You know that probably came in with the other piece at some point. You just know it. I think that's what pains me. These are cute. Sam Sung Ceramic Arts Collection in the original box. How much are you? $7.99. That seems like a really good price for those, so I'm gonna pick those up. All right, this guy is just ridiculously creepy. And he's probably like worth a fortune. I mean, he's priced at 20 bucks. Somebody knows something that I don't, uh, but I'm gonna leave him for somebody. Cause he's kind of with the clowns and I'm, I'm with Misty of Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter. I don't do clowns either. We'll leave those for someone else. These are interesting. They're, um, they almost feel like a paper mache kind of feel. There's a pair of them for $2.99. And they're interesting enough. I think I'm gonna grab those. Okay, let's see. Boy, there's lots of clowns on this shelf. That looks almost like a homemade piece right there. 
We have a very interesting looking dog. He feels like he's like carved from like coal or something. He's lightweight and he's textured. You know what, for $1.99, I think I'm gonna get him and figure out more about him. Looky, looky what I just found. I found some little mushrooms. They are $2.99 each, which is a little more than I'd like to spend on them. But you know what? I don't find a lot of mushroom stuff, so I'm picking those up. This guy's kind of cute. Oh, it's very, very lightweight resin. He's cute though, isn't he? Kind of interesting. Sitting on his little igloo there. Ooh. Oh, I already see damage on one of the bills. This looks like Odagiri, but it's, uh, I can't read that. It's scratched off. It is made in Japan. It is vintage, but unfortunately, that damage can't overcome that. That's just a little bit too much damage to overcome. So we have to leave it and see what else we could. Oh, there's another mushroom. Oh, and I found another one too. I found this little red one. So kind of got that little mushroom score going on. Okay, I'm going to look close and see if there's any more that I am missing. I don't want to leave any mushrooms behind. That's really cute too. Look at that. There's little flowers in it. That is... I'm trying to figure out what those flowers are made of. I can't quite place it. They're not... I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to leave it. Even if it's old, it's not super high value, so. These are interesting. Kind of cool, aren't they? I don't think they're very old, though. Don't think they're very old. There's lots of these things now. They're everywhere. I'm telling you, they're everywhere. And I don't know why I picked up the ones I did before. <laughs> I got pressured. I let myself be pressured. These are Pier 1 Imports. Dolomite. $4.99. I'm not exactly sure what they are, but they're interesting. They're shell shaped. And I'm sure they're worth at least 10 bucks. So I'm gonna pick those up and learn more. When I looked up and look what I found. You guys know I'm always looking for the little square black bottom glasses. And there I found a set. And they are $3.99 for the pair. I will take those. All right, let's look through some more of this clear glass. There's more of those piggies that I pointed out a couple days ago. There's a little angel. She's cute. Oh, this is kind of interesting. Oh, this is like a nice quality crystal. Is it signed? I don't see a sign. It's 20 bucks. It's 20 bucks. And I think it would have had a stopper. It's not a vase. I think it, and it's not signed. The not being signed is why I'm going to leave it behind. If this had a signature, I probably would pick it up and figure out more about it. But it's good quality glass. That I can tell. I just don't want to pay $20 for it. Cool thing I just pulled off the top of the cart. It's a butterfly. I think it's a book stand. It's $12.99, which is, gosh, a little more than I want to pay, but isn't that so cool? I mean, I'm kind of doing a butterfly theme on my patio. I think, I think I'm going to grab it, even though I don't really like paying that much, but I think I'm going to grab it. Okay, I'm going to go have to, I'm going to have to go find a nice quiet place to show you all the goodies I just pulled off the carts they just brought out that I wasn't able to film because there was just, you know, too many people around, but let's see what this is. Oh, these are napkin rings. Okay. I got it. I got it. They're napkin rings. Oh, it's a little birdhouse. This one's a little small. We're looking for something a little bigger in the birdhouse department. We have bigger birds than that. What are these? I do not know. They're mats. That's what they are. Mug. That's an interesting little, I don't know if it's supposed to be a napkin holder or letter holder. That's different. 
it's not exciting, it's just different. So we'll leave it. Let's see what else we can find. Because right now, I've got a whole bunch of goodies in the cart. I promise, I'm gonna share with you what I found. Oh, I love it. These are, these are puzzle piece frames. Um, the puzzle piece is the symbol for autism, and many of you know that my son is on the autism spectrum, and the puzzle piece was, you know, kind of a symbol of our lives for a while. Now I know they're just made to, like, connect, but there's something, like, really cool about those. And they're made in Italy. I'm kind of thinking about picking these up. Hmm. I wonder what they sell for. You know, this is the kind of thing that I need to look up because it's kind of outside of the type of things that I buy on a regular basis. So I'm going to look those up and see if they have some resale value. It's actually somebody's homemade piece with a couple of sand dollars and a starfish. It's kind of crudely done. You can see it's glued on the back there. So I'm going to leave that, but nice job. It's really cool. All right, we're on a roll as usual. As usual. Oh, these are cork. Cork is not cheap. I don't know what I would do with those. There's four of them. Hmm. I wonder if they can be painted on and turned into like little bulletin boards hand painted. You know what? It's $3 for four of them. I'm going to get them and then figure out what to do with them later. Maybe you can give me some suggestions down in the comments. And I don't see anything on this shelf I can't live without. Okay, we're at the metals, and you know, I've been finding some good stuff at the metals. I'd like to pick up these picture holders to use down at the booth, but that one's a little bit more than I want to spend for a booth piece. Spotting a piece of vintage glass back here. It's $9.99. It's not really that exciting of a piece. This kind of a piece probably, I'm going to guess this would sell in the $20 to $25 range, and it's super heavy going to cost a lot to ship and again that takes out of your profit margins because the customer is taking that into consideration when they're purchasing they're looking at the total price I don't even know what that is look at these cute little guys little nesting duck baskets I know they're not super old but these actually have the wood for the bills and they're they're not bad they're not badly constructed so we're going to pick those up I guess the metals are uh, being pretty good to me lately. Is that missing a side? I think it is. I love picking up, I know it's not actually old. It's just made to look old, but you know what? That doesn't matter. People are willing to spend good money on it. And this is $3.99. And I actually have some fake eggs I can put in there and make this a really nice piece. Here, let me get to where you can actually see it. It's like a wire butt basket, actually kind of cool. All right, I'm here at the vases and look, look what's peeking out of this. I think this might be a Mackenzie Child's piece. Now, I don't see, I don't see it marked as such, but I think maybe somebody might have painted it to look like that. Darn, I wish I knew. $2.99. You know what, I think we're going to take a chance for $2.99. This piece is interesting. It's got the thickness and the weight, you know, to kind of be like a mid-century kind of a thing. And it is half price, so it's $1.50. It's hand-blown. It's got this etched tree branch design. I'm going to grab this one. All right, nothing else is really exciting in here. I looked at this. It's got a, you know, UPC code on the bottom, so not super old. And I looked at this. This is intriguing. I don't know quite what I think of this, but there's something about it that just doesn't appeal to me. So we're going to leave that one behind. And then we'll look at this little red piece here. See it? That chipping, that was $7.99 Hobby Lobby. So that chipping is, they're trying to make stuff look vintagey old, but if you pick it up and feel it, You'll know the difference. You'll know the difference. $14.99 on this piece of, it just says T4 Judy, California. It's a 
kind of a reverse brown drip glaze. Usually the dark is on the top kind of thing. Um, it's nice, but it's $14.99. So for that reason, I'm leaving that one behind. This has a vintage look to it, and it probably is, but it's unmarked. And it's just, you know, kind of a generic piece. Let's see what this one is here. This looks very, like, 80s. 80s, 90s. Mayhan, Mayhan made 1987. Yeah, see? That was right there. You know what? That one's got some possibilities. That era is becoming very, very popular again. And I think for $6.99, we'll grab that one. Looked back over on the other side, and I found this course mirror like these were the type of mirrors given out at carnivals so it's not super high quality but um people like to hang these in their bars and stuff so i'm going to grab this for 3.99 but i'm back over here to the vases and i spot this cobalt blue look at it's like a triangular shape which is intriguing and you know what it's it's cool enough that doesn't matter how old it is, it'll sell on the cool factor and I'll pick it up for $2.99. Looks like there might be some more vintage pottery here. Like that has a really vintage look, but I don't don't see a mark. You know what? It's half price. Green tags, it's a dollar fifty. You know what? I'm gonna pick that up for a dollar fifty. And right behind it was this piece. It's got kind of that texture, and it looks like it was it's glass with that texture on it, which it is. That's interesting. I'm not exactly sure what I would call that. And um, I don't know, something just, uh, I'm sure it's, it's vintage and it's cool. It's just not, it's not drawing me. This is a newer piece. It's very thin. That is diamond, six inch. All right, I don't see, oh, 1984 MH. I don't see anything else that looks terribly exciting. That, again, cheap kind of Chinese made glass. See all the bubbles? The lines are very, very un consistent, inconsistent, I guess is the word I want to use. So that's why that one doesn't excite me. Oh, let me look at this one. Oh, that is really super lightweight. Southern patio. And then let's look at this plate underneath it. RC, it's art pottery. Just studio art pottery. You probably would never find, I mean, sometimes you can, but usually you never find who done them. There's lots of like, you know, art classes and things where they made such things. And so you just go with studio art pottery if you're gonna list such things. Now, I'm kind of eyeballing these because I actually use these for my tortoises. And Priscilla is needing to move up the size of her little water water hole. So I think I'm going to pick one of these up for my little baby Priscilla. I'm down here on the bottom shelf of where all the flowers are. And I spot this beautiful little glass hummingbird feeder still in the box. I didn't check the price yet. Oh, $12.99. This one, I gotta contemplate, do I want it for myself or is it worth reselling? I have to look that one up. I found a whole bunch of like these pre-started seeds. That's for me. And then I got a whole bunch of stuff in the cart still. I have to show you. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you. Okay, I am gonna go ahead and get it. Some of these glass hummingbird feeders do sell for $30 and up. So um, if it doesn't have the resale value, I'll use it myself. It's beautiful. Okay, this little bowl is only 50 cents because it's half price. And it's just kind of killing me to leave it behind because it's cute, it's vintage, it's got a strawberry. What do you do with a single bowl though? Like, what do you do? You know what, I, I'm, I, see, I just feel like I have to rescue it for 50 cents and then I'll figure it out later. I wish I could find maybe a little friend for it here on the shelves. Oh look, there's there are some saucers. Oh, and there's a little plate that's the same pattern. Again, oh it's and it's Metlocks. Guys, it's Metlocks. 
All right, these are a dollar, that's 50 cents. I guess I have to pick those up too. It tells me there's probably some more of that hidden in here somewhere. Come out, come out, little strawberries. Where are you? All right, I don't see any more. I do see a kitty mug though, kind of in a random place. It's Opal House, $2.99. I do really well with kitty mugs, so I'm gonna grab that. Okay, I thought for a minute that was a turtle. Doesn't it look like a turtle <laughs> on first glance? But then the design is actually upside down, so it's a bird and veggies. And these are really cute. And they're only, again, half price, $1.50 for this little pair of cute little bowls. I'm gonna grab those. Now I'm over at the mugs. You know, this doesn't, if this had a better feel, but it feels very, very lightweight and kind of cheap. But then we have jellyfish. Spring, so jelly. All right, at $1.99, we're getting the jellyfish. All right, let's scan through. It's so funny, when I'm in San Diego, I find Las Vegas souvenirs. And when I'm in Las Vegas, I find San Diego souvenirs. Go figure. Oh, who are you? Little cute little thing. Oh, it's in German. This is in German. It's got, it's $1. I will take the little German cute little mug for $1. Maybe somebody could interpret that for me down in the comments. I'll just hold it there for a second. And yeah, let's get him. Just found these two. One says faith and the other says believe. They're nice, sturdy, well-made mugs. They are made by Gibson Urban Mugs Stoneware. It's $6 for the pair, but that's like $3 a mug. I think I'll do okay on this. Then I just picked up this cute little chickadee mug. I might actually make a little flower arrangement out of this one for $1.99. I'm digging down here on the bottom. I see a Aloha Hawaii. Gosh, that is so smudged, I can't make it out. Hmm, but very nice quality mug for 99 cents, so we will pick that up. 1997, Dr. Seuss. <laughs> He's kind of been in the news lately. Uh, 99 cents, and that one is by Stellar Gifts, and see, that's how I knew it was 1997. Looked on the bottom. And he's double-sided. The Wubulous World of Dr. Seuss. All right, we'll get him. I just found this really nicely made um, 1983 Alaska mug. Very clean. 99 cents, we'll grab that too. I found this is another one of those shoebox greetings by Hallmark. And this is a great subject matter. Again, 99 cents, we'll grab that one too. This is what happens when you put transferware into the dishwasher. That was actually a really nice design at one time, and it is now completely faded. I just pulled a Sandra Boynton from the shelf. It is a hippo, which is a bonus. I love you more than chocolate itself. It needs a little cleanup, but I have a little pile of these that need a cleanup. It's only 50 cents, so that's coming home with me. All right, I think... I'm good with mugs now. Now, we will look at some glass. There's another one of those Caribbean, Pirate of the Caribbean kind of thing. $3.99 though. It's not Disney. If it was Disney, I wouldn't mind paying $3.99. But you gotta be careful of that. If it's not Disney, it's not going to be worth as much, even though it's, you know, pirate and Caribbean and all that good stuff. So, it's a single Dorothy Thorpe wine glass. If there was a pair, I would pick those up. All right, I don't see anything else in the glasses right now. We're going to move along. What's that? King's Silver Season Anniversary for $2.99. Hmm, you know, because Father's Day is coming up, I think I'm gonna pick that up. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see that. 
It's etched and it says Kings hockey team. Okay, let's see. Anything else? <laughs> oh, there's the little blue ribbon duck thing that seems to be making a comeback, but very, very, very cracked, unfortunately. So can't do that. No can do. All right. My cart is getting really, really heavy. I just hit the bay dirt here and I totally didn't expect to. Really, really didn't. But I guess I came at just the right time. That, I thought that was Temptations for a minute, but it's not. And one more. Boy, they got very, very full shelves. I can tell you that. Oh, that's a book. Looks like somebody was hiding something under here, maybe. Let's see what they were hiding. I just learned that that's a thing, that people hide things to come back for them later. That's kind of pretty. I'm kind of, kind of digging that. Hmm. I mean, it's, it's, it's like a watercolor piece kind of thing. I'm, I'm going to leave it, but it was intriguing. It was very intriguing. All right. Cute little guy I found like on the arts and crafts kind of shelf here. He is made in Mexico. Looks vintage to me. $3.99. I think I will pick him up. And I just found this little artist print here. It is signed John Van Zeal or Zile. And it's an otter. And because he's super cute and he's only $2.99, we're going to get him. Boy, they got this really nice rack here. Retail rack for 35 bucks. Man, I wish I already had my thrift store. I'd be scooping that up. And then there's just got these really nice chairs. They got some nice furniture in here. They got a lot of furniture in here. Look how much furniture they have. Wow. So sometimes you can find things hidden. I learned now. I'm gonna start looking. <laughs> in drawers and places where other people are hiding things to come back later and get it. I've learned, I've learned a secret. <laughs> Can't wait to find something good that somebody did that to. Okay, little doggy, what are you? Kind of cute, oh, busted! <laughs> and not in the good way. I'm eyeballing another one of these little Ooh, that's really flimsy. Okay, I don't want that one. Too flimsy. Okay, I'm gonna get the ones that don't have people in them. Kind of more of the, you know, they're more generic decor, still life kind of type of thing. So I'm gonna get three of them. And then kind of that stained glass. It's $5.99 though, so we'll pass on that one. Over here in the art, and I just spotted this. It's made in El Salvador, but look at closely. It's painted on a feather. How cool is that? So it's half price, it's $2.50. I will be picking that up. Spotted this little vintage seal print. I, I recognize it, it's, I think I've seen it on greeting cards. I'm not really thrilled about the framing job, but look, that is original for sure. And it again is half price, $2.50. We'll be grabbing that. I just found something super cool down here on the bottom of the art I don't I don't know what you call these they're I mean they're photographs and they're they're done with kind of like this metallic kind of finish are they signed they're not not signed man there's like a whole bunch of them they're 3.99 each and I I mean, there's some color ones too. I'm kind of digging the black and white ones though. These are interesting. Very interesting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of look these over a little closer and see if I can figure out anything about them. 
I'll let you know which ones I end up getting. Okay, I'm gonna get the ones that don't have people in them. Kind of more of the, you know, they're more generic decor, still life kind of type of thing. So I'm gonna get three of them. I just found a 1945 uh, photograph of El Rancho Vegas for 10 bucks. That is coming home with me. I'll show you some of the stuff I put in my cart a while ago. I don't know, there's something about this I really liked. It's not old, it's just made to look vintage. It's $4.99 and this is like velvet with like ribbon flowers. So we're picking that up. This cool piece of pottery, it has a real vintage feel to it. It's $3.99 and I think that's supposed to be an owl or maybe just a little, I don't know what he is, but we're getting him because he's cool. Another one of the nuts and bolts sculptures for $4.99. And this one appears to maybe be a dentist. That's what I'm thinking. So there you go. Little music box. It is, it's trying to play. See, it's working inside. It wants to play. Now it seems that somebody has overwound it. So I'm hoping that we can get it working again. It's $4.99. The reason I'm picking this up is it's a really good brand. It is a Rouge and it is made in Italy. So hopefully we can get the mechanism working. It does have a little little kind of cracking in kind of the finish. Um, but I think for $4.99 we're still okay on this piece. I'm pretty excited about finding this piece here. It looks like pewter. It is a seagull on a piece of granite. It is $8.99, but I believe... Oh, it is signed. It is signed. It's a DeWitt. It's a DeWitt. And I was just looking these up the other day. Now, the sailboats may not be doing so good, but I bet a flying bird is going to be just fine if I can hold it and show you. There you go. I don't remember what this glass is called, but I remember it's good. And so that's why I picked it up. Um, there was only one. It's three ninety nine. dollars Maybe somebody remembers what this is, but... I'm picking this up too. Found another one of these. They come from Ikea. They hold scarves and belts and I looked it up before and they sell really well. This one's $4.99. So I'm picking that up too. Oh my gosh, look at this table. Oh, it's pretty damaged though, unfortunately. That's, it's like real stone with this like acrylic coating and the acrylic coating has really come off of it. 50 bucks, I bet that was worth a pretty penny. I mean, it's probably still worth a pretty penny, but I wouldn't know how to fix it. Just had to give it an honorable mention. All right, these are kind of different and interesting and obviously very vintage. I'm gonna guess like mm, 60s? 60s is where I would put these, maybe 70s. They are wood. Oh gosh, that one's, he's really loose on his face. They're asking $30 a piece, so. They're probably marked on the sculpture themselves, if they have a name. Kind of weird and different. Not for me, but somebody will grab those. I'm getting, I'm getting car service here because I needed a cart for all of my goodies. Oh, we even got a banana box.
was pretty fantastic. I don't know how loud that air conditioner is. You know what? Let me turn it down just a notch. Boom. Okay. Because it's only 103, so I can turn it down a notch. It's all good. Uh, that was that was quite the shopping trip. Oh my goodness. I had I have been complaining that I didn't have enough plate holders and things to hold things up down at the booth. I just hit the payload on that. I got bags of teacup and saucer holders and plate holders and all kinds of that. Uh, you saw all the other stuff I got, some of the artwork. I mean, it was like, that was, that was great. I got some artificial flowers for me um, because again, I'm going to be showing you my porch soon. It's, it's turning out pretty awesome. I know that I'm, I, I, I failed to mention this um, and it was pointed out to me that I should probably mention this. So each Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific time, I do a live sale right here on my channel, meaning I sell a lot of the stuff that you see and I start it at $1. Like I, I started at $1 and, and let it go. It's better than doing an eBay auction because I don't have to pay the eBay fee. So I can give you a better deal if it's not already listed on eBay. But you're welcome to come over to my eBay and shop for things. I just have to consider that I have to pay the fee. I cannot take anything off eBay and sell it, uh, you know, privately. Can't do that. That's a big no-no. That will cause you to lose your eBay account if you do that. Uh, so I don't do that. But if you see something that I purchased that you really want, go ahead and send me an offer even. I don't have to run it through the live sale. If you really want something, email me. Emails down in the description of every video, the niche lady at gmail.com. Be sure and tell me which video you saw it in, a timestamp of the video or, or a screenshot so I know exactly which item it is because I buy hundreds of items a month. Yeah, I'd say a month sometimes a week. No, I don't buy hundreds a week. Um, but that, I said it. There we go. I'm in this to sell this stuff. So if you see something you want, hit me up. I'm happy to sell this stuff. and uh, Or come over to my live sale and get a real bargain because I start everything at $1 and it goes auction style and high bidder wins. So with that, got to get home. Get my little doggy's nails trimmed this afternoon. So I've got to get home for that. Now go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one.